What's up, everybody? It's JP with JP is Sick and Crazy. Um, just giving you an update on one of the tanks I just set up. It is a 30 gallon C Clear tank. Um, has three pieces of driftwood, some grass plants, two flower pots, and four convict cichlids. One pink convict. I believe the pink convict is a male. I thought it was a female. Um, so I'm thinking there's three males, which right there, there's the dominant one swimming up and down, and the other female that I just put in there. Them two right there have just paired up. There's the other male right there, and then the pink convict. I think that's a male. I could be wrong. Could be a female, but I think it's a male from the fins. Look at the fins. You can't really tell on the pink ones because they don't have the orange bellies or the colors. So you really got to go based off of the fins. And I think that that is a uh, male. We'll find out though. Um, but this one hasn't been trying to establish any dominancy with it. So I'm not really sure if it's a male. It could be a female. But that also makes me think that it's not a female because he hasn't tried to do anything with it. Um, <clears throat> they paired up. It's exactly what I made this tank for. This 30 gallon is perfect for... Uh, a good pair of convicts I mean it is perfect I have a T8 um, grill light on there uh, penguin bio wheel marine land penguin bio wheel 150 it's made just for a 30 gallon tank bio wheels running nice on it um, this tank just come out really good I got again three pieces of driftwood some plants and Three pieces of driftwood, some plants, and pots. And this substrate is actually, oh, and three algae eaters in here. These guys go to work, man. Only a dollar a piece at the store. Um, and I, for the substrate, I used play sand. It's really cheap. You get a 50 pound bag of play sand for, at Home Depot, it's $4. It's like $3.79 for a 50 pound bag. Four bucks for a 50 pound bag of play sand. I mean, you could feel. You could use a whole bag for a 55 gallon and have a really nice level of substrate. I mean, you can see here, I leveled it all out. <clears throat> you know, I really put a lot in there. Um, and you can see they pulled up one of those plants. It was in the back, right back there next to that one. Um, you should have seen this guy. I just put this female, the pink convict, another female in there last night. And this guy right here was just colored up and he literally had that female and become a pair look nothing else goes back there where they're at I don't know if you can see them right there where's my finger I don't know if you can see them right back there nothing else goes back there except for the male that I showed you and the other female that I put in there it's his territory um it's just going good glad to be back and you're gonna get more updated videos I'll tell you what what had went on. I moved and all that. Took a new job, and I'm finally getting all set up here where I'm at, and was able to get this tank and set it up. I got a 55 gallon out there. I'll show you in Buna tank, and I'm gonna start getting more tanks all set up. So, all right, appreciate the watching. I guarantee that pair will have fry in no time, or will spawn in no time and have eggs and all that. So. In no time, I might have to pull out because you can see him, them two, the male and female, getting aggressive right there. This male getting aggressive towards that other male, and the female also getting aggressive towards him. I think the female wants this spot right here. The male that she paired up, he paired up with, or she paired up with, is that's his spot, and she keeps coming over here. I think she wants this spot. So, but he brings her back here. So I'm curious to find and that this spot right here is the other male spot. So I'm curious to find out if they're going to take over this spot or keep this one when they spawn. I guess we'll see. Um, so, but this tank looks really good. I mean, it took about 24 hours for it to, I mean, a play sand, you have to really wash that stuff and, and you know, really rinse it out because it is dusty. There's re it's really fine grit sand and, you, you know, you have to really wash it and it's dusty. And it only took, with that Marine Land uh, filter, it only took less than 24 hours I did it at night and <clears throat> it only took less than 24 hours to next morning it was clear you know it didn't take too long to clear up now they could stir it up and it's still not too bad everything's still settling but it looks great we'll see how it goes and I gotta fill 
And actually, that is a, I want to say 150 watt filter right there. It's made by, let me see. Let me see, because I got to say something about this. I got to see if I still have this space for it. Right here. This top fin, these top fin filters. This is a, let's pull it out, 50 watt filter, excuse me. This thing is only supposed to be for a 5 to 10 gallon. And I had a thermometer in here. I pulled it out to put it on my other tank just for a minute. But it's keeping this tank in, in uh, South and Central cichlids don't require as much high as temperature, which I only have that up set up to where I want it. They don't require as much high as temperature as uh, um, African cichlids. This tank says 78 degrees. They say that filter is only supposed to be for a 5 to 10 gallon, and it's keeping this 30 gallon at, at uh, about 78 degrees, which is perfect for them. And it, I mean, you, those filters are really, top fin filters are really underrated. I mean, excuse me, top fin heaters are really underrated, and they are great. Never buy, never spend. If you had 55 gallon, get you 150 watt. That's what I have on my 55 gallon, and I'll show you that update video of that in a minute. And, you know, those top fin filters are really underrated. In my 55 gallon, I have a 150 gallon filter, which is only rated for like 20 to 30 gallons to heat, and it keeps that tank at whatever I set it at. That tank stays at 80 degrees. The thermometer reads 80 degrees on that tank, and it's a 150 watt filter on my 55. I'll show you. I won't talk about it now. You're looking at the 30 gallon with the Convex. Um, tank looks great. I'll be doing a lot more videos now that I'm settled in, and we'll be good to go. I'm actually, this room we're in right now, I'll show you that later. I'm not going to show you the whole room. This room we're in right now, I'm going to put a, a 55 rack to hold three 55 gallons and <clears throat> get a few breeding colonies, a few different things, because I could fit a 55 rack for three and a small rack for some grow out tanks and I'm gonna do that in here I'm actually gonna start it here soon and I'll I'll take videos and put it all into one and show the steps of it so but here you go here's the 30 gallon C clear this is acrylic tank and it's actually drilled in the back corner I sealed it up because I didn't want it drilled and I I got this tank for actually like six dollars and ninety nine cents at Goodwill guys I mean what a deal I seen that and as soon as I walked in I seen it and I put it in the cart and paid for it and walked out I sat around for about a week, and I got it set up now. All right, guys, comment, rate, subscribe. I appreciate y'all watching, and have a blessed new year.